Hi, I'm Gloria, one of the Youth Services Librarians at North Riverside Public Library. I want to show you today how I made a winter craft. Uh, it's a shadow box or a diorama, you could call it too. Uh, it's made out of natural in ingredients for the most part. I, the basis of it is pine cones and I pick them up on my nature walks, uh, which I like to do almost every day around my neighborhood. There are over a hundred different types of pine trees and they each have a distinctive shape and type of pine cone. In my neighborhood, it's mostly white pines and Colorado blue spruce. And there were a few that I wasn't exactly sure about, but um, I did find some unusual pine cones. My trees in the back are made out of the white pine, pine cone. And the way I made them was by, I needed some temper paint. I have green and I have white. And I painted the pine cone with green, just with a little brush with green. And when it dried, I used a Q-tip with my white to do the tips so that it would like, look, look like snow. While they were drying, I put the back of the shadow box in. It's just a piece of blue construction paper. And once again, with white paint, I just kind of swirled like this to make clouds in the back. Once that was dry, I just fit it to the back of it and kind of scotch taped it down so it would hold. So once my my trees were done, were, uh, were dry, I put the white on and I had to wait for that to dry too. Then I wanted to make some tree trunks. So all I did was cut some brown tan paper like this. You can make them different sizes, which is what I did, and twist it, fold it a little bit like this. And I used scotch tape, which is very easy to secure it at the ends. Like this. And these were going to be, oh, and then I put um, with marker, some brown marker, just some lines to make it look like a tree trunk. And then I glued the top, the, the top of the paper to the bottom of the pine cone. Now I used hot glue uh, because it held fast and it was quick, but uh, you can also use white glue. It just takes longer to dry. So if a child is doing it, you probably wouldn't want them to use hot glue, but use white glue. That works too. And I found some different kinds of pine cones when I was walking, but I didn't use them in my, in my diorama. Um, this is from a pine tree. I don't know what kind of pine tree it was. This little one, a whole bunch of them were on the ground uh, next to a Colorado blue spruce. So they produce lots. Uh, and then my owl, if you can see, is a little rounder shape. And I couldn't find a big one like that, but here's a small pine cone that's round in shape. And that would be good to use for an owl or for a little baby bird or something. So once I had my trees done, then I'm going to work on my owl. And once again, it was um, with a pine cone. It was a rounded one. But you can use any shape really. And you make the, um, the, the feathers in them with just with cotton and sticking the cotton with the tweezers in between the areas of the pine cone. Easy to do and you can make him as full as you want. So basically he's going to look like this. Then you're going to want to make a teardrop shape for his wings. Um, I cut out from a piece of paper, just a teardrop shape like that. And I traced it on white felt, two of them, and that would make the wings. I put with once again, my brown magic marker, some dots on the wing because it makes it look like um, it's variegated color. 
And then once again with glue, and this time I used white glue, I put, I glued the wings onto the owl base and let them dry. I had a white pom-pom that I used for his head. And I once again cut some construct, I used black construction paper to cut for the eyes and yellow construction paper to put inside to make them yellow and then a black dot uh, for the pupil um, with the with the marker. And the beak is just two triangles together like this, one yellow, one white, and you fit it in there to make his beak. Once again, I used white glue, it worked fine. So once you get everything together, then you can start putting it in your diorama. Um, I put the trees in the back, kind of place them in there, and I put a little glue around them so they would stick better at the base. And then I had some cotton batting, and I put that all around too, so it would secure the trees and also look like the snow on the ground. Once everything's dry with the owl, with the head, you want to put it on the top of your owl, on the, on the body, make the head. So you could use cotton ball too if you don't have a white pom-pom or look around, see if you can find something else. I did notice when I was doing this, some of the pine cones are very sticky and I don't know why they are this time of year because it's winter and I would think that the resin from the pine tree would be frozen. But apparently it's not. I don't know if that indicates anything, but I had a lot of trouble getting it off my hands. So I always heard the nail polish remover worked and it did work pretty good, uh, but at my hands were still a little sticky. So then I Googled it, see what Google had to say about it. And they, sure enough, they mentioned nail polish remover. They also mentioned hand sanitizer. Apparently, hand sanitizer is very effective for removal of things, including the paint off your car, which I never knew and kind of shocks me. So I tried it, the nail polish remover, and I also tried the hand sanitizer and it worked very well. And then you're supposed to wash your hands with um, like a grease cutting dish soap, which I did, and it worked very, very well. So I don't know what that says about hand sanitizer and, and how we should be using it all the time, but let's wash our hands with soap too and not just use the hand sanitizer, I think. That's pretty powerful stuff. So this is my, um, my winter uh, shadow box. You don't have to make it winter. You can make it um, spring. You can make it just about anything. These pine cones could be regular trees. They don't have to have the white on them for snow. They could just be trees anytime. I, I am, I guess I shouldn't be tired of winter, but I, it's not my favorite season and I am a little tired of it. So I am going to put just some, some color here, some pieces I found, artificial pieces that I'm going to put in for flowers coming out of the snow, just buds coming out because I want my diorama to look a little more springish. So I'm going to do that. Put those in. See how that looks. And that that's all there is to it. I put some tape around the edge to kind of frame it a little bit. You don't have to. Um, any kind of uh, silver tape, electrical tape, anything. Uh, the sticks, you can do it. Um, or something else that you find, decorated construction paper you could put around for a frame. And enjoy, see uh, how you do and, and how you like doing it. And let us know if uh, you like it. Send us a picture if you want. We'd love to see it. Have it fun, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.